How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and that's right, we're here again with battle number two from the Kanto Classic. Hope you guys enjoy this battle. This is actually a really fun match, so enjoy, and uh, so we're going to start out with Alakazam, because I noticed that, I knew he was going to bring like nine tails for the start, and maybe some other Pokemon like that. Yeah, I don't know. But seeing Nine Tails out here means we'll go to Snorlax because Snorlax has the ability that will cut down fire type moves by like 50%. Uh, he went for a hypnosis and he missed really unreliable of a move, in my opinion. I hit Weezing, which is okay by me. I need all the damage I can take. For this thing to go down right here, I, I go back into Alakazam, expecting the Will-O-Wisp, and it's really nice because of Alakazam's ability, Magic Guard, I think that's what it was, where you don't take any residual damage from status conditions like burn or poison, all those kinds of moves. So it takes two seconds to take out um, Ninetales there. Uh, he probably expected his nine tails to take that better than he thought he would, but no dice right there for him. So now we're going to deal with his own Swarlax, which I have my champ, but I noticed that my golem can take his hits really well, unless he has Earthquake, but throughout the match, uh, he does not show me Earthquake. We'll get up some energy hazards and expecting another will wisp we'll go back into Alakazam and just fire away with the uh, psychic type moves because I mean why not right? Yeah I know that scroll ass is really bulky on the special side but uh, we need to get a lot of damage onto him. And it's very likely that he has rest. So if I can predict correctly, I can hopefully take him out with a dynamic punch or two. Uh, so he went for curse. I really want him to get out of there. And I really want to force him to go into wheezing again. That's my whole purpose. So I can confuse the wheezing from there. And then I can hopefully, you know, what I decided to do is actually stay in. I was really tempted to go back and get Alakazam, but I figured that was way too obvious, so I stayed in. Let's go for a Stone Edge and an Ice Punch. Uh, this particular champ is a no guard, so I will be hitting Stone Edge a lot and Dynamic Punch too, so. And they're very inaccurate moves, but. Not the case here. Uh, we see the bulk of my Machamp because Charizard's flamethrower doesn't really do anything. And so will this Venusaur. Because Venusaur, yeah, Venusaur is powerful, but Sludge Bomb didn't do nearly as enough as the flamethrower did. I think it did about the same amount. We get a freeze on the Venusaur, which is awesome. Uh, but I regret doing this because he went for Slush Bomb and poisoned me. Which is going to matter because we're, we're going to get into this scenario where we have a double down. But I lost my champ. But I needed my champ so that way I can handle the Snorlax who's coming in right now. And so I was like, okay, maybe I can go into Nego King and... Hopefully take him out with a couple of Sludge Bombs. He went for a curse right there. I was like, okay, great. Now I can hit him with another Sludge Bomb. I was actually fishing for a Poison, uh, but I, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter because of Rest. Uh, he went for Rest right there, which is like, gosh darn it. So now we have to contend a Sleeping Snorlax at full health. Which was really unnecessary because, I mean, I, I really should have kept my champ from the start, but I did not. And so, my alternative is going to go on. I have power up punch for this kind of scenario if everything goes wrong the first time, which definitely happened there with my champ. But I can go with a couple of power up punches 
and just seeing the bulk of my goal in there means I can definitely say I hit him again. Now I'm at plus three attack with Golem. Unfortunately, he is going to paralyze my Golem with a couple of body slams. And on top of that, he's going to get me paralyzed. So I had a chance to kill him right there, but we don't do that. He's probably fishing for the uh, flinch and paralysis shenanigans. I don't know if I say I'm milk flinchy, but uh, I guess he was trying to fish for a paralysis, which he did, but he needed uh, one more in order to take out Golem. But that didn't work out too well, did it? Now, I question him dragon dancing right here. This was a little bit because, look, I, I take out Dragon Knight there. I was at low health. He really should have gone for the Dragon type move as it would have it KO'd me. But I still had my small ass in the back and my Clefable as well. So I guess depending on how much a plus one would do, or actually no, a regular uh, Dragon type move to hit small ass and possibly an exchange speed or earthquake, uh, I probably would have won that match nevertheless. So I guess I, I really question him going for that dragon dance. It was really confusing there. Okay, so that's the match. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, battle number three is going to come out real soon. So stay tuned for that battle. And I will see you then. All right, have a great day, trainers. I'll see you then.